wanted to update you guys. So we've been in the room since Saturday, right? Today's Sunday, mm -hmm. March 14th, and it's this guy's birthday. <laughs> and it's also Pi Day. So um, anyway, we've been in the hotel since Saturday night because I start work tomorrow. I'm excited and I'm nervous. I haven't worked in a month, so it's interesting. Um, never went without a job, so it's weird. But <laughs> he's been unemployed for two months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, today um, I fed Chad ribs and mashed potatoes <laughs> and brisket quesadillas in bed. And then we wanted barbecue for dinner. And it didn't happen because they were closed. So we went to this local restaurant called Prescott Junction. And it was pretty good. I got uh, a, what was it, like half pound burger? I don't know what size it was. I don't know. But anyway, I got a burger with A1 sauce, pepper jack, and bacon. It was delicious with potato wedges. And you got... What? A shrimp burger. <laughs> with uh, potato Shrooms. wedges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, what else did we get? Oh, yeah, the pie. Can't forget the pie because it's pie day. So, um, Chad got strawberry rhubarb. And I wanted apple, but they didn't have it. So I got French silk and I was like, eh, it's okay. So I gave most of it to Chad. <laughs> and mm. then we shared a cinnamon roll and now we're fat and we're laying God, in bed. So much food. <sighs> and uh, Axel was up here, but I think he got a little perturbed because he's trying to sleep. But anyway, we're watching a show on the History Channel. What's this called? <laughs> food. Yeah, no, that's, that's about food. <laughs> food. <laughs> The food that made America. So right now they're talking about Frito-Lay, or I'm sorry, Lay's and then Fritos. And they're going to talk about how they combined and whatever. But anyway, it's like we watched Coke and Hershey and Pepsi and all that. And how it's made and or how it's created and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's all we're doing. We're chilling and I start work tomorrow. And that's it. So. Good morning, y'all. I'm getting ready for my first day of work. I have to be there at 7, Ugh, 7 a.m. and I am not a morning person. So I am tired, I didn't sleep well. I think it's just subconsciously I knew I had to work and I was kind of anxious, which I am kind of anxious. Um, Cause I've been off work for a month, so it's weird, I don't know. So anyway, I'm excited to get back to work. So I'm just outside with Axie right now and we're getting ready to leave, it's about 6.15. So hospital's not too far, it's like maybe a 10, 15 minute drive. Um, so anyway. Yeah, I will let you guys know how it goes. Hey y'all, um, day one is complete. Um, we did some orientation stuff, which it was refreshing because on my last assignment, uh, they didn't give me any orientation. They just gave me a patient's, uh, patient list or assignment rather, what we call them. And um, a computer, they were like, good luck. Ask us if you have questions. I was like, okay. So anyway, Today was great, got to learn a lot about the hospital, um, where things are at, and I did still have to walk around a couple times to figure out where I was at. So I think on one floor I walked around twice because I was lost. <laughs> so, <laughs> But everyone is so nice. Um, it's just nice to be around people that are the same, I guess. So like Chad and I are really big into camping and exploring and stuff, and I met a lot of cool people today um, that are the same and like, these nurses are from other parts of the United States and some have moved here a few years ago. You know, there's staff and there's a lot of travelers and everyone's just super nice and it's been great so far. So, and then we went to the in and out Burger for a quick dinner and we pulled up to the window and the lady's like, um, actually the car ahead of you already paid for you guys. We're like, uh, that's freaking awesome. So it was a great day and we paid for the car behind us. So hopefully they passed it on and that was just nice. I was like, there's still nice people out here. But anyway, in Prescott, Arizona, everybody is very nice so far. Um, we've had good luck. So that's about it. Um, nothing too crazy, but it was also, like I said, refreshing to um, know that I'll probably have a good assignment. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, y'all, good morning. It is 9.30 here in Arizona, so at home it'd probably be around 12 or 1. Um, they don't observe daylight savings or spring forward, so the time never changes, which is cool, but it made me nervous at first because my first day of work was on Monday after the supposed time change, so I'm like, oh my gosh, Chad, are you sure this is right? Like, I was just so nervous about it, but anyway, 
My first day of work was yesterday. It went great. And I'm off today, but then I work tomorrow night and Thursday night. So we just went ahead and booked the hotel room for the next three nights just because we can't really go anywhere in one day and it's kind of freaking cold. As you can see, it snowed again. Um, at least we didn't get dumped on like Colorado and Wyoming though, so happy about that. Anyway, um, we'll probably find a park to go to or something today. Um, we've been laying around the past few days and it's been glorious, but I think we're kind of bored and we're going to get out and go do some stuff. So I'll... Uh, let you guys know. camping in Sedona right now tonight and tomorrow and then Chad is leaving me I'm so sad what do you have to say for yourself Chad yay <laughs> oh no it's terrible I don't know what I want to do with myself whatever but anyway he has a hiking trip that they didn't get to go to um last year because of COVID so they're doing it this year it was actually his bachelor party ish I guess <laughs> um so they're doing it now and then my dad is actually on his way out. He's maybe 45 minutes out. So he's going to stay with me and Axel while Chad's gone. And then when Chad comes back, my dad will probably leave. So I won't be alone, which I'm excited about because I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but anyway, we are camping in beautiful Sedona again. And just us right here with the occasional side-by-side -side and vehicle go by. But... Other than that, it's not bad. So we're gonna camp tonight and tomorrow and then I have to go back to work. All right, so dad is here, but not here. He's lost. Um, sent the location to his phone. He tapped it, you know, on iPhone, you can send location. So he tapped it and it took him to downtown Sedona. This is not downtown Sedona, just saying. Um, anyway, so he had to stop and try to get directions, and then that person was like, I have no idea. I'll try to help you. This is kind of the way I think it's at. So he came back this way, I guess, maybe. I don't really know. And then we were trying to get him here, only to find out he finally came to a sign 
I mean, like, there's nothing out here. No signs, nothing. Just roads. And you can get lost, literally. If you don't have a map system, um, we have multiple. So that's how we can pick and choose where we go and get the coordinates and whatnot. So, anyway. Um, Dad's using his good old iPhone. And um, he is on the total opposite side of this backcountry camping. Like, I mean, he's probably an hour or so away. So, we're like, oh, crap. We're running out of daylight. I don't know if you can really see it because it's literally the sun is setting. <laughs> so, um, we broke down the tent real quick. We took down the awning and just everything else that was out, we just left. And I'm here because <laughs> we didn't want to lose our campsite. It's Friday night and these campsites definitely fill up quick, at least around Sedona area. Most of the time we have no issues with the campsites, but on a Friday night close to Sedona, yeah, it gets real packed. So, um, so Chad went to the rescue on dad and I hope they get here before, um, the sun sets, but I doubt it. So <laughs> I'm just going to be chilling in the dark by myself and well, I have Axel, so we'll see. Anyway, we'll keep you updated. You know, it would not be an adventure if something didn't go wrong. So it's fine. Everybody's in good spirits. Everybody's safe still. Dad has self-service where he's at right now. Um, he didn't. And that's where the miscommunication happened is I couldn't reach him and he just kept driving. And then I told him to stop and I was like, oh yeah, I think you're on our road. So keep coming. So that was my bad. Um, and I got him even more lost. So don't listen to me. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'll just be chilling by myself. Yo, I'm not even going to lie right now. I'm kind of freaking out just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, y'all know I like to watch those murder shows, mysteries, and all that stuff. And I'm literally thinking, like, I'm by myself in the back country of Arizona. <laughs> I have nothing with me. Um, at least I have water. But I don't need water right now because I'm freezing. Um, and, like, I told you guys, it fills up quick on the weekends, at least around Sedona. And so many people have tried to pull on this campsite. And I'm like, what if they try to fight me over it? And I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to defend myself and I'm also freezing so the temperature drops really quick after the sun goes down and I'm just chilling waiting on Chad and my dad so I kind of got the short end of the stick here I didn't even think about that I was like oh yeah go get dad go get dad well he's safe in his car and he has his um I guess personal defense with him and um I have nothing Stay tuned. Y'all, they're back. I am so ecstatic. Like, it's not even dark yet, but I was still starting to freak out. So anyway, Chad's trying to help dad get into this little groove right here. Um, it's a little difficult because his car does sit lower, but we're going to get him in here. But now I feel better. <laughs> I was kind of freaking out, guys. Not going to lie. Well, y'all, today is Chad's departing day, and I'm sad. I feel like crying. <laughs> We've been together for like the last month um, every day, so it's a little hard, but he'll be back. He's going to be gone for maybe two weeks, so he'll be back. <laughs> 